Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, The Lady Designer. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for Parkasaurus, which is a total new game, a kind of dinosaur slash zoo game, which I'm super excited about. The game looks super cute, and the devs gave me early access, so I could already have a sneak peek of the game and record some stuff for you guys. So this is also an early version, so it's full of bugs and that kind of stuff, but hopefully it, it's not that bad for recordings. I didn't really notice that much at this point so it's gonna be super awesome and for those who don't know I am starting two different channels just a short mention it's not an official now announce yet but uh, the lady gamer will be more of like the non-creative games and for my Dutch followers I also started the lady NL so if you want to see more of Parkasaurus and all the other games I'm gonna play over there you can follow me at the lady NL and I will link them all in the description obviously and for this game we're gonna Gonna be playing sandbox mode because I just really enjoy playing sandbox mode and to just put in all my creativity so let's just start with a new game and we're gonna customize and we're gonna have unlimited money I just want unlimited money for this series and maybe we will do something else later on but for now I'm gonna unlock everything I want to have a flat terrain and I want a empty area so we can just use the whole area and we're gonna have free eggs I think I'm not really sure <laughs> okay there we go so as you can see uh, we're gonna call this sandbox um, the ladies sandbox oh it's not it's too long okay uh, the ladies park Okay, super simple. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this is the map. And as you can see, you can just move like that. But you also have the free cam. And you can just rotate like this, have different angles. You can zoom in and zoom out, which is super awesome. So yeah, it's, it's going to be super neat. I'm not really sure if uh, it works completely to build like this because your preset is like that. So, but at least for like screenshots and moving around through your park is super awesome that you can just have the free cam and just rotate and zoom all over the place. So let's just see how far we can get. Let's just start like this and, and then maybe later on we can just use the free cam a little bit more. And we're gonna start with, like, like a lot of stuff is still new, so I have to look it up and see how everything works, but it's gonna be super fine, I think. So you have, like, pods over here, and you can select, like, different sizes, and we're gonna have, like, a big main plaza for the entrance. And let's just fill this all up. I think I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger now we do have like arches for what I've seen so there is a decoration setting right over here and you have several arches glass pergolas wooden pergolas there are bridges there is a lot of plants going on and uh, what do we have here boxes and uh, info signs it does remind me a lot of zoo tycoon so I think they use that a lot as a reference I and mean, I really love that game when I played that when I was younger so yeah I, I just really like all of this so far and it's really enjoyable like the, the career mode is also very enjoyable to play so I definitely recommend if you get this game to play also the career mode for a bit because it's it's just really uh, nice but I just really love to play in sandbox mode because uh, I don't know it says I, I thought I set minimum uh, unlimited money so I'm not really sure if that is working let's just see how that will look oh yeah it's it keeps at 7500 okay so we do have like a sign I'm not really sure if I like this sign let me just delete that one and we're gonna see because there are so many different arches and stuff that one is also cool. Can we just put that one in front? No, I don't think so. Okay, we can put you right over here. 
Let's see how you look. That's pretty cool. It's a pity that that flag is going through his head, but we're just gonna pretend that we didn't see that, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's go for some buildings. Um, there's a taco shop, a burger bang, a what? A burger banan bonanza? And we can have like some kind of main street area right over here, maybe. Okay, what? How do you look? You're cute, and if I'm right, you can also like recolor all the buildings so you can have like the same style for all your buildings. That is really cool. I really like this addition to the game. Um, let's see. We can have a grayish building, maybe? Yeah, let's go for this. Gray and red. I like that. Okay, so we have a burger building right over here. So we can have a sushi hungry. No, that one is too big. I think. Let's see. Uh, let's go for something else. A tiki hut is too small in my opinion. I just really want to make it look... I think I think this this one could work. Oh wait, that's the same one. Okay, okay. Pay attention, lady. Pay attention. Okay, is there anything a balloon shop maybe? We can have a balloon shop maybe in this corner. And just fill it up maybe with some flowers and stuff. Um I think I'm going to uh, you over here and then we're gonna add some more path and we're gonna add you like that we can just fill this up maybe and let's go and have a look at more decorations okay i accidentally placed a pathway right over there and we're gonna have no decorations like i really would like to place these guys. Let's see if we can create something fun. And I'm not really sure how that will look. Okay, they will overlap. So if we just do that, they are really big and you can't, you, there's not a no collision option. Maybe that, that will be added in the future, but I think this could work. I think this could work and let's place more on this side too. So you also have different seasons and stuff in this game, which is really neat. So you have like winter time and everything just fills up with snow and stuff. I think that's a really nice addition to the game. And let's have like a nice little drawing maybe right over here. Okay, so I'm just gonna go for something. I don't have any idea. So when it's daytime, we can see how it really looks. <laughs> we also have lighting, so we can add some lights. A street light or maybe... This one looks more cute. Okay, so let's have one light over there, and one light over here, and one on this side, and one on that side. What kind of decoration do we have? Like maybe we can have like a fountain or something? A Triceratops fountain. Oh, you are super big. T-Rex fountain. But you're a little less big, at least. I think that is cool. Okay, so we don't have like a super huge plaza. I wish it was a little bit bigger, but... Oh well, let's just keep it for now. And... Maybe... No, I'm gonna keep this like that. And let's see if we can like have a nice fencing maybe around here. So you have concrete fences, no visibility. Mm, we have plexiglass, wire fence, electric fence, metal, wood, chain link, and another plexiglass electric fence. Okay, so 
how shall we do this? Is there like a hatch maybe? We do have hatches in the boxes. Is there anything else without the box maybe? I don't think so. Okay, well maybe we can just uh, have something in the middle over here. Computer, okay, day has passed next day. Okay. We need to open the park, obviously. So you see, Tuesday, it's springtime. Okay, we're gonna add... Oh, wait, where's the decoration? Okay, that's over here. So we're gonna add a boxed hatch over here and one over there. And we can have something in the middle. I think I will just go for that hatch. And then, is there anything like a size 2? I think it's only 3 or 1. Tulips! Oh, I like tulips. Okay, we can maybe add some tulips right over here. Can you also recolor them, I wonder? Oh, you can pick it up. Okay, that's good to know. Um, okay. So we're gonna add some more flowers, maybe? Or just add... More tulips? No, I want to go for tulips like that and then have... What are you doing? I'm not really sure if this is like how I really like it, but let's just continue this for now. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that we will like find so much new stuff later on that I'm like, oh, I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna do that in a later stage. But it's, it's a lot of fun to play this game. We didn't even place any dinosaurs, so let's just, before we finish this, we're gonna create one exhibit for a dinosaur. Uh, we have mail. Today we celebrate the invention of the burger, sell burgers. Well, I'm not open yet, so I'm not gonna sell burgers. I'm very sorry. I'm gonna recolor you. And we're gonna have you red, just like the opposite side. And I'm gonna color you white, and this one is going to be white too. Okay, we might want to add... No, 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 no. First, we're gonna create an exhibit. So what I want to do is I want to delete... Uh, is this remove item remove path okay so I'm gonna delete let's delete it all and we're gonna add a standard path or maybe a different color shall we use the red stones <gasps> you know what we can do okay we're gonna use the standard path this is the middle, right? I'm not really happy with how this one is placed, so I might change that. Can we just replace you? Just a little bit further away. Where's the front? Okay, this is the front, so this is your place right now, and I'm gonna place you to the back. Can we? Okay, wait. I think we need to do it like that. There you go. Okay, we're gonna fill this up, and we're gonna extend you a little bit further and uh, we're just gonna try and play since it's great wise you you can't really place like fences you, you you need to make them straight but in order to have like a little bit more interesting shapes we're gonna use a lot of this like this is the best we can do um and select these and delete okay so we're gonna add the rat path on the outside of the path so we do have a bigger path but then with a little bit more color variation i really like that maybe we can even do it like that yeah i like that okay so we're gonna go to the outsides and how far away is that One. Okay, so this should be the same size. I like to have it a little bit symmetrical. I'm not gonna do that for like the whole park, obviously, but just for like the entrance and the separation. So what if we can make like a more round-ish 
exhibit right over here. So we're gonna add you. Wait, what kind of fence? I, I think I will go for the wooden fence for now. I have no idea if there are like different uh, requests for fences regarding to different dinosaurs. I think I'm gonna make it a little bit longer by the way. I'm gonna add four on this side and four on that side and then we're going up. Oops, what did I do? Is there a control Z? No! Wait, is it? No, 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 that's not. Okay, so we can't do that. Uh, devs, if you are watching, please give us Ctrl Z. Like, that's the best thing ever in every game. You need Ctrl Z. Um, I think this should work. One, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we do need one more. There we go. So now we're going up. So that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, why does it do that? Okay. Um, Tess. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put you, I'm gonna delete you. So that's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I want 12 clicks. Okay, there you go. Um, then we go up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then we're gonna have... I'm just gonna look at the amount of money in this case. It would be nice to have like the amount of towels or something next to it. So let's make it a 36. And a 36 on that side. And then we're gonna do the same thing. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve on that side. And then we can see this. So that's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There you go, new exhibit. It's pretty round, so that's really cool. And then we can have some more pathways. And I think I'm gonna. Okay, we're gonna color this, obviously. And we're gonna fill this. all the way to the other side and we're gonna fill you and this will be two we're gonna expand this a little bit more there we go and to that side two and we can fill you up right over here okay and we're gonna fill the other side here as well And there is 444, so we're gonna add this because we're go not gonna add like the grayish ones right over there. And then we're gonna have you. Oh, day has been finished. Next day, thank you. Okay, we're gonna finish with the pathways. So, as you can tell, the game is still a work in progress, but. It is very promising and oh, I, I just really enjoy building in this game and put in as much creativity as you can. Like obviously it's not Planet Coaster but it's really just fun to play with dinosaurs and a zoo combined. Like we did with Jurassic World Evolution which is an awesome game obviously. So yeah, I, I just really enjoy this and I enjoyed uh, Zoo Tycoon back in the days. So it's just really a lot of fun. So we're gonna fill this up. And we're gonna fill you. I just really want to do the exhibit. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it for now. 
Okay, double tiles over here. Let's go and have an exhibit. And we have a Stego egg, but I wanna have a different egg. So we're going to eggs. And we have the Triceratops. We have the Minmi, mind me, herbivore from the Ankylosauria family. We have a Oviraptor. We have a Ankylosaurus, Spinosaurus, Staracosaurus, Digen Spinosaurus, the Orth Ornithomimus. Great, all those names again. The Seismosaurus, the Lambiosaurus, the Anya, well, there are a lot, okay. <laughs> I want to go for a herbivore because this is like the first uh, exhibit where the people will walk through. So it's not going to be like in, in many zoos, you will have like just more of a small species, I guess. So maybe we can go for the Minmi and... We can just create an egg. Like, obviously, in a career mode, you have to go and uh, go to digging sites, have to find gems and stuff, and then later on, you can create your eggs. But we are playing in sandbox mode, so it's all a little bit easier. <laughs> um, so I do need to know. They have, they need grass towel, biome, forest, and they are small. Okay, so we're gonna put the eggs down and we're gonna add grass because that is what they want. Let's make it easy first and then we'll go for the corners and there you go and we're gonna fill you. Now, obviously, these grids will disappear once you get out of the building mode, so you won't notice the blocks. As you can see right over here! That's so cute! Okay, we do need some water. So let's add some water. Okay, we can already... Uh, I don't know how you call it. Uh, smash the eggs to open them, or... <laughs> no, we need to be gentle. Okay, so how are we gonna add some water? I think like that. We need to try and create a nice little river like we also did in the Jurassic World Evolution series. So we're gonna just expand a little bit like that. And we need to make sure they can also walk over here, obviously. Um, let's go a little bit up like that. Because also you do need like enough water because your trees do need the water. And we're gonna add some tree for forest, rainforest and taiga. So we're gonna add some pines maybe. And let's put some pines right over here. It also looks a little bit like Parkitect. Like, it didn't play Parkitect that much, but, like, the art style does remind me a little bit of that game, too. And I, I, I do believe, like, some people just really hate this art style, but I just really like this because it's super cute. And, uh, yeah, I, I can really appreciate this kind of art style. But I can imagine that some people are like, no, this is just not for me. But hopefully, some of you will enjoy, <laughs> like I do, and I'm pretty sure there are a lot of people like me. Uh, ancient monkey puzzle tree? What's that? Oh no, I, I, no, that, that's not, not for this, no. <laughs> okay, wait, I, I want to add a little bit more water, just over here, so it's, there you go. It's so adorable. Okay, and we're gonna add a lot. I like a large one, but we can also just have a small one. Like, they don't really need that much. Like, you can also add some long grass so it keeps them a little bit more private. Now, I haven't really played with that that much. Um... So I'm not really sure, like, 
if the people can still see them if you create it like a has let me just show you we're gonna open ooh, open the egg oh hello you're so adorable okay the exhibit is too small okay we are screwed ladies and gentlemen i was expecting this would be big enough for such a small dinosaur isn't it okay we do need food we need food okay we're gonna order some food and we're gonna buy and we're also gonna add like daily we do have the money so why not and we're gonna hire a veterinarian and there's a difference between speed ability and personality now i prefer more speed than personality but i think that really changes for like what kind of uh, a job it is but in the end i just like better speed <laughs> i have no idea yet how much it affects the gameplay obviously uh scientists find dinosaur footprints by walking around the park when placed on a presentation but will provide science by teaching guests well that is the only reason we do need scientists for the sandbox mode because obviously we have everything unlocked already uh can be used with the research lab to generate science employee Riken cannot access oh no we didn't create a fence um a door yet okay so let's uh, let's add a kind well they are not really that kind security okay the best security there is okay we're gonna add a fence a uh, door I said did say fence again right over here I wonder how big it should be because this is not very good is that because of the water maybe we might need to expand it while well, we do we have to we have to well you know what we're gonna do we're gonna just ah uh, they like each other i like that that's so cute Ooh. it's a little bit too sensitive for my usage of um of the keys And they're like baby. Oh my god, it's cleaning. Oh, that's so cool. Aww. <laughs> Taking care of them. Okay, so we have the info panel right over here. We have a female. We have two females. I think female, female. And they're also baby stage, if I'm right. It's Okay, too young. It's too young to show their head. Allow breathing. Coming soon. I like this. I really, really enjoy playing this game. I hope you guys liked it too. Please let me know in the comment section, obviously, what you think of this game. And if you are excited to get the game and uh, everything else you want to share, please let me know in the comment section. And uh, as I said in the beginning of this video, if you want to see this game also in Dutch, please head over to my The Lady and L channel and check it out over there. I hope to see you there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Bye, guys.